Hi everyone, this is my first sit down video in my new dorm room. I feel kind of awkward being loud because everyone can hear each other in this building. So if my neighbors are home, they can hear me right now. But you know what? It's fine. I miss talking to you guys. I miss filming book videos and that's what this is going to be. Today's video is, it's a little bit all over the place. Okay, I'm going to talk about books that you need to read before they become movies slash TV shows. Like books that are already in production or already have release dates for like their adaptations. Books that are rumored to have some kind of adaptation coming. Some of them I haven't even read yet and I'm going to be talking about all of these. So that's what today's video is going to be. I am actually currently down bad with a double ear infection and not only do I have an ear infection in both ears but I have an inner and outer ear infection in both ears. So if I sound weird that's why. Luckily today is the first day in a week and a half that I'm not in like an insane amount of pain but I still can't hear like literally my ears are blocked so bear with me the first book I'm gonna talk about is like what inspired this whole video because I just participated in something so exciting that I can't wait to tell you about in a second the first book that I know is becoming a TV adaptation on Amazon Prime video is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han this is a young adult trilogy Jenny Han wrote To All the Boys I Loved Before which also became a movie franchise I think this would be perfect for like a younger audience even if you're older you'd still enjoy it but this girl goes to a summer house every Every single summer with her family friends there's romance and coming of age there's kind of a love triangle a lot of drama and super quick and easy reads and I cannot wait to see how this translates to a TV series because I saw the casting pictures of who they casted for like the main three characters so good so accurate to how like I pictured it in my head I actually got to participate in a book club where I talked to Jenny Han herself it was so cool I got to ask her a question and listen to her talk about the whole like filming process the writing process okay hi it's me in the future I'm about to edit this video coming here to say that the book club for the summer i turned pretty is actually already live the book club went live on amazon prime videos youtube channel on february 8th i'm posting this the day after so you can click the link in the description to go watch it or head over to their channel and watch it for yourself i'm so excited for you to see it sorry for the interruption <laughs> that was just such a cool opportunity to be able to talk to an author like that and there's also a special guest who i also got to see and talk to and hear from i just can't wait for you to see that okay another book that i actually read specifically because i knew it was becoming a movie was the selection series read it last year vlogged the entire thing it's on my channel i love that video it's so funny to me <laughs> that's becoming a movie is it becoming a movie or a tv show I think a movie. It's kind of dystopian, bachelor vibes, all these girls competing to become the princess. So much drama, definitely for a younger audience as well. I feel like it goes hand in hand with The Summer I Turned Pretty. Like if you liked one, you'd like the other. Both kind of love triangle vibes. I don't know if they've casted it yet, but I know they scripted it. So it's definitely becoming a thing. And I wonder who they are gonna cast. I feel like it's gonna be really popular because I know the selection series was really popular and like everyone's read it. I was really late to the game on that. Okay, then you guys know one of my favorite books of all time, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid is becoming a TV series as well. The pictures that have come out from like filming, this is not a romance, but it is so good. I literally talk about it all the time. I have a reading vlog of me reading it. It's about a band and all their ups and downs. There's some romance. There's everything they go through in a span of just a few years of being a band in like the 70s, 80s and becoming like really famous. And it's told in like documentary style. So I can't wait to see how it translates to the TV series. I feel like they're gonna film it kind of like a documentary, except it's like a fake documentary because it's obviously fiction. I can't wait to see it. Oh my, I wonder when that comes out. I don't think there's a release date yet, but I know they finished filming. The casting was amazing. Costumes I've seen, just everything looked so good, like pulled straight out of my brain. And that is probably one of the ones I'm most excited to see. And I feel like it's gonna get really, really popular after that releases. Okay, then I know there's been a lot of talk of Colleen Hoover recently. She has, I feel like she has a few movie like contracts where she sold the rights to a bunch of her books to different production companies, but they actually finished the script for It Ends With Us. I don't know if they've done casting or anything like that yet, but I can't wait to see that movie because if you don't know, it is a really deep story that talks about the cycle of like domestic violence. I feel like they're going to be able to show that so well because the way that Colleen Hoover wrote the book, they kind of make you feel like you're in the situation of Lily, who's the main girl, and she's falling in love with this guy and the way Colleen writes it, it kind of makes you fall in love with him too. So then you're in her shoes when she has to decide when all this stuff starts happening, you're 
pretty much living it with her and I can't wait to see Justin Baldoni is directing it and he has directed like some really good movies so I can't wait to see like how they do it I have high hopes I feel like they're gonna do a really good job I know a lot of people are excited about that one but I wonder when that's gonna come out that's a movie not a TV show what do you guys prefer do you prefer books being turned into mini series books be turned to like full TV shows or books being turned into movies. I think I prefer miniseries, like eight episodes, which is what I'm about to talk about now. So this book, one of my favorite books of all time, has actually already become a miniseries on Hulu that you should 1 million percent watch even if you haven't read because it's so accurate to the book that I feel like you could just watch it without even reading it which is like the best and why I love mini series so much for books because they can include like every single detailed quote and character arc and everything they have enough time whereas I feel like with a movie they kind of have to cram everything in leave stuff out which I'm also gonna get into but Normal People by Sally Rooney go read this go watch it I don't even care which one you do first and that's how you know it's good I've annotated the shit out of this book this this is again kind of a coming of age centered around a boy and a girl that keep missing each other communication issues distance just it felt so real like a real relationship from high school to after college following these same characters i definitely recommend it and the cinematography of the miniseries the casting it just everything about it was so perfect that it made me re-fall in love with the book like after i watched it i reread the book and i was like damn maybe this is one of my favorite books like that completely changed my perspective on it so yeah that's actually a miniseries that i could not recommend enough like i can't wait for other Sally Rooney books to get turned into I think movies miniseries I know that conversations with friends which I haven't read yet which I'm going to which is another one of her books got picked up Joe Alwyn got casted in it who's Taylor Swift's boyfriend but I have to read that first so that's a recommendation to myself I was talking about like how some books getting turned into movies it just doesn't work reminds me of after by Anna Todd read the books in eighth grade like everyone else um so when i heard it was becoming a movie i was like what reread them watch the movies the movies are just not they just don't <laughs> have enough in them they're so rushed so confusing if i was just watching those movies without reading it i'd have no idea what was going on so i feel like that is a situation where it kind of like went wrong so that's kind of why i prefer like tv series i feel like they just work better for how detailed and long and descriptive books are you just need more time than an hour and a half which also reminds me of the hating game by sally thorne i still haven't watched it guys it came out like three months ago i did a trailer reaction i was so excited and then on the release day i couldn't watch it and i was getting a bunch of dms from you guys and everyone was like saying it wasn't as good as the book and for some reason it just made me not want to watch it because i didn't want to like not like the book anymore so i still haven't watched it should i watch it i was really anticipating it but i watched the trailer and i was disappointed a lot of you guys dm'd me that you were disappointed with the movie and i was like mm, do i want it to taint how I view the book like I really enjoy that book so I don't want it to ruin that so should I watch it like I'm curious to see it I don't know how I've had the self-control to not watch it but I haven't okay if you didn't know I'm currently living in Brighton England which is where this book takes place which is where this movie was filmed with my favorite person acting in it is my policeman Harry Styles plays one of the main characters I haven't read it yet because I'm waiting for it to get sunny outside and I'm gonna go down to the beach this is the pier I literally live right here right where this is like I'm gonna sit at the pier and read it and I'm gonna picture Harry Styles in my head <laughs> as the character because he got casted in it like how cool is that yep soon to be a major film I know this is like a maybe a love triangle secret romance I kind of have a gist of what it's about but not sure when the movie's coming out but should I do a reading vlog for this when I'm literally in Brighton outside where this was filmed Harry Styles was literally here and I missed it oh another book to tv series adaptation that I actually really really loved was Looking for Alaska by John Green Looking for Alaska was one of the books I read in middle school that I just was obsessed with if you don't know which I'm sure you've read it a lot of people like don't like it because of, because of exactly what it's about but this guy goes to a boarding school and he meets this girl named Alaska and he creates like this idolized version of her in his head that is just so perfect and he is so obsessed with her and just sees her as like this perfect human and then in reality she's actually like struggling with a lot of things she does a lot of things wrong that he didn't know about because he was so like swept up and like what he thought she was it's basically like, the whole book is written like from the male gaze and that's why a lot of people don't like it but i thought it was so like unique to read and then they made it 
a mini series, I think also on Hulu, casted it perfectly, did it so well. There's like direct quotes from the book like the entire time. They also added stuff. Nothing felt like it took away from the book. It felt like if anything, it added to it. And I really, really liked it. And I also think you could just watch the mini series without reading the book and get like the perfect experience as if you're reading it because it's that detailed. I really did like the adaptation. Another book I have that I know is becoming a movie as well is Where the Crawdads Sing. I haven't read this one. So this is another one I'm recommending to myself. I brought it with me because I knew I was going to want to read it. The main actress that played the main girl in Normal People's adaptation is also playing the main girl in Where the Crawdads Sing adaptation. And she did such a great job that I can't wait to see her again in this. I have no idea what this book is about, but I know so many people love it. And I think Reese Witherspoon is the one who's adapting it. Again, if you want to see a reading vlog for any of these, let me know and I could do them spoiler free so you guys can like see my reactions and see if you want to read it. I don't know, or I could just do a review. But yeah, I need to read that one as well. Okay, then I want to talk about some books that have like either been rumored to be coming series or the authors actually have announced it, but like nothing's come of it yet. Like it hasn't started production or pre-production or anything. It's just kind of rumored or they sold their rights. These are things that I've heard. If there's more, please tell me. I'd love to know. But I heard Red, White, and Royal Blue, which I love that book as well as The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren, which I feel like would be such a good movie. I feel like they could do that one really well, like a rom-com. Verity by Colleen Hoover. I'm pretty sure recently she sold her rights to that one. They Both Die at the End, which I haven't read, but I know it's really popular and I need to read, even though everyone says it's disappointing, so that's why I haven't read it. Same with The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I brought this with me because I heard it's potentially being adapted and I've been putting it off forever, so I just need to read it already, especially before it becomes adapted because I'll be so annoyed with myself if it becomes adapted before I get the chance to pick it up, even though it's been on my TBR for like two years. The Song of Achilles, I'm pretty sure Madeline Miller literally announced or somewhere posted or put it on her website or something I saw on Twitter that it did get picked up for a movie, which I don't know how I feel, but if you didn't know, it's my favorite, absolute favorite book of all time. I don't want them to ruin it or taint the vision I have in my head. I feel like they could do it so well though. I feel like it could be so beautiful, but I'm scared, but I'm also excited. I don't know. I, it'll probably be like years before these come out though, because like they're not even in pre-production or anything. Same with The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I heard that got, I think that one years ago, the rights got sold to a production company. Oh, there's two more that I haven't read actually. One of Us is Lying became a mini series, which I haven't watched simply because I wanted to read it first and I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off because it's not a genre I usually love. Same with Shadow and Bone. <laughs> which I've been saying for the longest time that I need to read but that one got adapted and I'm pretty sure it's a series and it's gonna continue and it's gonna go through all the books so I also need to read that series. I have so much to read. If you guys know any more books that are potentially being adapted or are being adapted or in production already please let me know if you think I'd be interested in reading them or if I already have and I missed them please tell me because I love being in the loop with that stuff like looking at the casting and like looking at the set photos and everything but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you will pick up some of these books before they get adapted and I also hope you'll tune in to the Summer I Turned Pretty book club and see me on it as well as a bunch of other creators that also were there which is so cool that that was such an amazing opportunity and yeah that's the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and I'll see you in my next video very very soon bye